Hi, welcome to the June 9th Chaos Web Content Meeting. Uh, this meeting is to uh, discuss the current redesign of the website and also to help manage and coordinate the uh, Google Summer of Code tasks around uh, Community Handbook uh, and the knowledge base. Uh, so uh, please, if you haven't already, please sign in to the, uh, doc the shared document. Okay, and then I, I did notice that that uh, people were were adding stuff to the agenda, which is great. Uh, but I am going to, uh, as we jump down to them, I'm just going to I'm going to defer that conversation to the individuals that added that that information. So the first thing on the list is the Chaos Community Handbook tasks. Uh, yep, yeah, I did. Okay, Joanne, I did. <laughs> What's he at? I don't think Should we? Yep. Should we move that one down and wait for her to come? Uh, Looks like there's a note she'll be here a little late. Yeah, we can move it down then. Okay. Screen, please. Okay. Oops. Okay. Uh, the next thing on the list is the Chaos Africa and Chaos Asia Pacific pages for the website. Uh, this this item came up in the uh, uh, I think it was the DEI meeting yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, the, this line is just here to maybe we should start thinking about what we would like that to look like. Uh, and what types of information we would we would uh, need on that page. So what would what would the purpose of these pages be? Uh, what types of information do we need on the page? And what do we want those pages to look like? So I'm I think this is just something we kind of need to start thinking about, and I would defer some of those, like the purpose of the page, I would defer that to the uh, community coordinator for that group. That's a good title. Yeah, maybe. I, I think or, uh, my thoughts would be like the page could have like uh, information about focus on the, on the community, like and then a uh, coordinator as well, maybe like a profile, reach out email. I think those are the major things I'm thinking about. Do you, do you think you would want to include like specific information about meeting times yeah. or things like that as well? Yeah, yeah, sure. Meeting times as well. So this could almost be like a participate, like an about page for the group, yeah. but also a participate page for the group. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can create that in such a fashion that uh, uh, we could also almost print out like a one page flyer of those to, to take to the, uh, the events as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that will work. And, and that thing I was thinking, if we could have the two, do we want to do uh, one for uh, Chaos Africa and then another for like Chaos Pacific, or we want to have them on the same page? I think they would be separate. Uh, and then to to get to these pages, I think we we could probably have these pages in the main navigation, although I'm not sure what that main navigation is going to look like. Uh, but we could, we could also like local local efforts or, you know, global efforts as a top yeah. level. And then the drop down would be Chaos Africa and Chaos Asia Pacific, something like that. Yeah, we do actually we need to add we need to add that uh, 
the menu, uh, the navigation elements to the uh, to our discussion at some point. Uh, and maybe that's a critique, maybe that's a critique by us of what's there and what we would like to be there. Uh, we said chaos global initiatives. Yeah, chaos global, chaos local. <laughs> They're kind of like opposite words, but they you know, are something like that. I suppose it's the perspective that we're looking at, right? Uh, Localization is just a word that's used a lot. Okay. So, I mean, that could be. We do have the we have these these different kind of terms for th some of the things that we do, like badging is considered an initiative. Uh, is is Chaos Africa an initiative? Is it a working group? Is it a satellite community? A chapter. A chapter? Yeah, <laughs> we did see that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I'd rather not create a separate designation. Like there, this is all just chaos community, and we have folks that are working in Africa, and we have folks that are working in Asia Pacific, and I'm, just, I, I'm trying not to have like some sort of hierarchy. I I get that because as as we've discussed in regards to the uh, the some of the terminology across working groups, the uh, that hierarchy doesn't necessarily hold up to scrutiny. So so I do I do understand that. Uh, but I, I guess my question is kind of around the, the the organization of that navigation, right? So if we have a if we have a high level navigation header or tab for it, what is it, and what would be underneath it? Is it just is it just those two local communities, or is it uh, is it these is it the uh, three communities? You know, chaos proper or the, the, the main chaos, Chaos Africa, Chaos Asia Pacific? Uh, do, we, do we kind of lump it in with the initiatives, even though it's not an initiative? Yeah. Something, to, add, something add, to think about, sorry. Yeah, we can add them as dropdowns under this, the community. Yeah. Just like, here's two of our other communities that are part of yeah, our- if, if we keep the if we keep the chaos community top level navigation header, that would be a perfect place for it. But once again, something we don't need to do right now, because I, I think this, uh, I think the navigation is going to be, I think we want to look at our existing navigation, critique what's there and decide uh, what we need to have in that main navigation. And I don't, uh, from a from a website design standpoint, I don't think we're there yet. Uh, the The first step that I'm on is the uh, those three main user paths that are going to come off of the uh, uh, the slider that we're going to have on the top of the page. So, uh, and based on based on those three user paths, I think we we build almost everything else around that. And we can look at that a bit closer when we uh, when we look at the prototype that I made. Uh, okay, uh, jumping down to define clear roles for community handbook and knowledge base. Uh, I added that. What's that? I added that. You added the agenda. That. Okay, excellent. Uh, it's basically like uh, with the website redesign and the community handbook structure also changing. And then we have another knowledge base coming in. So I think it's important that right from the start, we clear out and define which role and what purpose a particular thing is gonna serve. Mm -hmm. So like, we don't want copies of the same thing, like knowledge base also has the same information and the same information is reflected in the community handbook. Maybe some discussion around that. I have thoughts about this. So here they are. Um, I see community handbook as like a, a user manual. 
So like if you buy an internet uh, capable washer dryer, for instance, <laughs> as we were discussing earlier, um, you have your user manual, which has all of the stuff in it. But then if you go to the website and you just have like another a question or, you know, you, um, like I'm not sure, um, a, 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 you know, a question I might have would be like, oh, can I do this thing from the app, whatever. So I don't wanna maybe necessarily look through this whole user manual, it's there, but I would go to like um, the website and go to their knowledge base and type that in, like, can I do this thing from the app? And then it will point me maybe to the user manual, maybe somewhere else, um, maybe to an app like a specific page on the website about that app, something like that. So like I see the knowledge base is like the hub of where I can find a quick answer. And then the community handbook has all the content and there's other places that that content exists as well. Building, building on that, because uh, I agree, uh, the, the work of the Google Summer of Doc students will will likely include uh, editing and creating content for the knowledge base. Uh, that would not be a task that we would have uh, you do, right? So your, your job is not to build content for the knowledge base. Your job is to uh, basically create the knowledge base on the website and link it to existing content. So if we identify places where we need content, then we can create an issue and ask them to create it. Uh, however, I, we, we don't want to do any content creation ourselves for the knowledge base. Uh, in regards to you know, where the overlap is, like where, we're, where, there, where there's maybe some connection, that's maybe in the structure of the uh, information that's in the handbook because we need to we need to understand what these these high level chapters or organizational structures are in the handbook when we're building the knowledge base because we would like to uh, uh, we would like the structures to be similar right and we want to use the same uh, terminology so and, and, I, and I think we can we can take part in that design discussion right does that make sense Does anyone else have thoughts on that? Yeah, so to me, the handbook, I agree with what's been said. To me, the handbook is, as an example, um, recently we've been talking about like how to, when we're reviewing metrics, like how to get that information to the translations repo. And like, there's just a few little steps and I would like to put that somewhere. <laughs> and it's always like the handbook would be the place I would like to put that. So those kind of process things that kind of appear weekly, bi-weekly, whenever they, whenever they rise up, I, I'd like to get sense. that documented somewhere and the handbook is that place for me. Yeah, I think so. And then, and ideally on the website knowledge base, we could do a search for uh, the release process and all of the documents that are related to the release process yeah. would, would uh, be populated right? yep. uh, so that's that's the goal uh, okay. and regarding the uh, uh, I actually did want to set up a, uh, a a dedicated meeting to to chat with you yash about the about the knowledge base and how we can okay. uh, how we can do some kind of dynamic searching for these documents uh, and maybe create mm -hmm. some tagging and uh, Okay. Uh, and some of that, I think, is also going to be the uh, how the how the knowledge bases are going to be uh, managed within the the plugin that we've chosen. And I, I forget which plugin it was that uh, that you've looked at. Oh, or that I you're looked at a couple. I looked at a couple of them, and the two that appeared the most were Better Docs and Echo Knowledge Base. What, what's the second one? Oh, uh, better docs, the first one, uh -huh. and the second one was echo knowledge base. Echo knowledge base. Yeah. Okay. You'll find uh, the implementation below in okay. the meeting minutes. Yeah, I think better better docs. One of the uh, so I've looked at that one, and I think one of the uh, one of the ways that they they recommend uh, 
creating kind of dynamic content is by creating multiple knowledge bases, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, so on that one, if, if we need to create that, that kind of searchable dynamic knowledge base, then perhaps the, that knowledge base level is at the, uh, at the folder structure, the, the folder level of the community handbook, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Does that make sense? And, uh, and maybe let's, let's, let's meet separately and talk about this. Uh, yes, you know what? sure. Because we'll, we'll go down, we'll keep talking about this if we continue. Okay. Uh, uh, so do you, do you, do you feel like the, the roles are clearly defined for you? I think so. I have got a fair idea. Okay. So, and then we do have knowledge base uh, prototypes in here now. Uh, is it okay if we, we hold off and we, we talk about that in, yes. a, in a dedicated meeting for that? I think it's better if we do that in a dedicated meeting. Does anyone on the website want to be part of that or anyone on this Zoom call want to be part of that meeting? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I'm happy to be. Okay. Me too. Okay, I will, uh, what I will do is uh, in the uh, Slack channel, I'll just announce the meeting in the Slack channel. Is that okay? Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, and then, okay, we're still waiting. Uh, can we look at the results from the website survey then? Yeah, I put that in there um, just to talk quickly about that. Um, we did get six responses to that little survey that we did. Um, people are either looking to participate in the meetings and looking for information or calendar or something like that, or they're looking for metric specific information. No surprise to us, that was extremely hard for them to find. And um, even the calendar, um, it looked like somebody had tried to find meeting information um, and ended up going to GitHub to find it, which I thought was interesting. Because we don't, I, we, we have it on GitHub, but we don't really make sure that that's ever like in sync with what the calendar, like the calendar is a single source of truth. So um, that I thought that was kind of curious that they ended up finding the, what they needed on GitHub, which was unintended. So we could expand the survey if we want to dig deeper. Uh, we can just kind of take those at face value since there were only six responses, but whatever so, y'all want to do. I suppose specific information on metrics, that's not surprising because that's not something that exists on the website really currently other than the uh, the release as we have it uh, mm -hmm. set up currently. And they said they ended up having to use the browser's search function to find what they were looking for in that giant metrics list, which mm -hmm. is again, not surprising because there's really no other way to yeah. easily navigate that. That's what I do. <laughs> And I did not respond to the survey. Oh, just because the, the scroll is long? Was that the issue? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's a, a long scroll. And if you don't know what okay. you, what working group made the metric or what focus area, like you, you have no idea where to even start. So um, yeah, you're basically using search like tagging. Yeah. So like I just want to look for community. <laughs> yeah. Start searching community and see what metrics what talk up? about community. Here. Preaching to the choir there. Yeah, again, not surprising at all. So, but just a confirmation of our own maybe biases of what we have experienced as well. Yeah, uh, yeah I suppose the the finding the calendar is easy to somewhat hard to find. I suppose I'm a little surprised by by that. Uh, but you know, once again. That's probably just because it's it's one page and I know exactly where that page is. So <laughs> when I've looked uh, for the calendar on our website, I've had to persist. Okay. Like it, so it the, doesn't the, pop the, out. The participate it, navigation. Yeah. yeah doesn't, and I think as we've doesn't had get it, you there. It did get me there, but it pushes it down. Yeah. yeah. It pushes the calendar down a little bit. Yeah. So and then there's the meeting information underneath the calendar, which is like really scroll down. So people may not know. Oh, are. okay. So that, that's actually a, that could be a, a, if the calendar is the main reason people are going to that page, that the calendar should probably be at the top of the page. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, seems good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 
And like we have a lot of information, you know, for our Chinese participants, which would move to the Chaos Asia Pacific page. So that participate page can be a little tighter for uh, sure. Okay. Uh, I'm making notes. Down below, okay. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, okay. So those two, so hopefully the, the knowledge base will resolve some of the metrics, hard to find issues. Uh, and then the, uh, the way we get people to the participate uh, information is, I think it's going to change. Well, I'm, I know it's going to change, but I have some thoughts on how it can change. <clears throat> uh, and to start, maybe let's, let's take a peek at the, the prototype I threw together. Uh, Share your screen. Yes, I will do that. Okay, so before I do this, I want to make it clear it's just a prototype, Kevin. We're not going to judge. It's a you. prototype, and we're we're talking about the structure of the prototype, not the aesthetic, not Got the it. color choices, not the font, not the. Uh, mm. uh, things of that nature. So, so my first thoughts looking at it are regarding the colors and the font. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yep. Let me mention it. Wow, those colors, Kevin. Yeah, I, let's start there. <laughs> okay, so I modeled this prototype after uh, a website structure that that Matt sent me that he said he liked. I was expecting much worse based on the setup. <laughs> okay, so the the idea behind this structure is that we have a slider at the top. And the slider at the top is going to cover our three primary user paths. Right? So so go through them again. What uh, what are those three paths? Uh, so the, the first one is the how we work. Uh, mm -hmm. Right now, the newcomer participation mm -hmm. page. Okay. And the chaos artifacts page, which would actually take us to metrics. Mm -hmm. So those three, those three user paths are the, it's the new contributor. It's the people who want metrics models information. And then it's also the uh, information about chaos in, in general, which would also be the, uh, uh, the route that uh, an existing contributor could follow. I would call the artifacts page the library of chaos. Yeah, it could be. <clears throat> so artifacts yeah. is just one of those awkward words. You don't know exactly what you're getting into. Yeah, well, see, the choice of the choice of text here mm -hmm. is purely descriptive and okay. not uh, not at all what okay. I want to name any of these things or part of the aesthetic. Got it. Uh, okay, this makes sense to me. Uh, so from a from kind of a design standpoint of the website, uh, the main page, the way we design it, the colors we use are probably going to be based in large part upon the images that we put <laughs> in these sliders. <laughs> and I think Matt had mentioned that the branding group could maybe create those images we could yeah. or a selection of images yep yeah. so could we put in a request for or something yeah that i mean we can do that now oh, yeah so yeah. basically i did talk to the lf about kind of updating the branding other than like the logo itself but like oh. that blue and they were like knock yourself out you know what i mean <laughs> they're like we had with the 
800 projects we now have at the LF for you to put yourself in a queue to ask for some new <laughs> design elements would take maybe a hundred years. Um, so, so we, I think we have some latitude to, to do that. And if you'd like to start that now, we certainly can. I would, I would. So I think we have these, these three different paths and I think we need maybe two to three images that really uh, either help us visualize those paths or our generic chaosy backgrounds that would just that uh, that would work uh, in my mind. Uh, maybe I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna stop sharing for a, a second. And maybe we can look at the so on the uh, is anyone where are we at on here? Okay, so so slider navigation. And this is uh, slide one. Slide two, slide three. Okay, so the purpose of slide one uh, is information about chaos and how we work. Slide two would be uh, new contributors or the new, the new contributor funnel. And slide three would be for metrics and model uh, users. Does that make sense? It does. Okay. Uh, is there any other descriptions that we can add to these slides that would help someone who does branding or artwork come up with images that would uh, go well with uh, <clears throat> those are there are there color schemes that we like are there like on the on the new contributor funnel i put a picture of the community i thought that kind of made sense uh but but that's also a very loud uh, there's like a lot going on in that picture so uh okay um, i want to say something Yes. Um, in the slide, I saw that two of the slides have images on them. And one of them, you are saying that one of the slides will be the new contributors about the community, then the rest of them will be the contribution um, um, slide and the rest of them. I don't know. Um, the, could it, it will not make more sense if you make one of the slides. Just only the images of, of of that slide should just only be on the contribution on the community about the community. Like when you talk about community, not add that image on one of the slides, and it makes more sense. I don't know how you see. I know you get you get I, my. Point. I don't think I understand the question. I think what he's saying is instead of having the photos be these authentic live action kinds of shots with a lot of visual stimulus in them, that they be more of an organized representation of what that 
that that image is about the image becomes more of a Sorry. descriptive asset i think is what you're saying yes 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 yes, yes. yep yeah i, I agree I, I agree i i think that's that's what i'm that's what i'm hoping to grab from uh uh from this con this conversation so what how can we so if we're if we're putting in the requests for these images to a graphic artist or a graphic designer how can we how can we verbalize these requests and and yes I, I agree with you completely so the the pictures that i put in are just they're pictures that were there they're placeholders so so if if we want so for the information about chaos and how we work how can we verbalize a request to a graphic designer, an artist, on what we would like that to look like based on based on your comment and based on Sean's comment. I think we would give the graphic artist access to the content that's behind each section and have them help us to develop something that accurately or meaningfully visualizes in some way the content of that section. Okay. So that a user can look at it and have a, you know, be fairly well clued in to what's there. I mean, then that's what I would trust a graphic artist to figure out. <laughs> I am not a graphic artist. Okay, that's that's fair. If there are no other recommendations for that, then I then I suppose we can we can move forward with that. Uh, that does mean we have to we'll have to start building the content behind these uh, before we can move forward with the uh, uh, I, some of the design elements on the front page. So I don't I don't think you need to. I think I think just if if you're pointing to things that already exist, a graphic artist will be able to un unwrap what's actually behind that. Yeah, these title. these things these things don't exist though <laughs> yet on the website. Or, Right, and but the but but metrics exist, newcomer processes exist in some form, and that's all we're looking for is like to represent them in some form that triggers a thought that you know you mm -hmm. identify what this is about. Okay. I think we have enough to do that right now. Yep. Okay, so do we have some some links to that content information that would be helpful? I think you've already kind of got it implied by the design. Yeah, and the list you have the three different paths. Okay. Uh, so do you you think, Matt, if you were to reach out to that the chaos branding group or the, the people that are part of that yep. that meeting and we gave them this information, they could give us some uh yep. maybe two to three I do. images for each of and these that we could info, select from. Yeah. Yeah, and if they need more info, they'll let us know. But Okay. I, how about yeah, to let's I don't think we need to do more work on our end. I think okay. what you have is great. Mm -hmm. And they may ask deeper questions and we just go from there. Yep. Can I make that? Can we make this an action item for you then yeah. to, to contact yeah. them? Well, and this is good too. The prototype is good too, because I think to Sean's point, it puts something in front of people mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, okay. I kind of see the size of the assets that need to be done. Oh, I kind of see that they're like going to be three of them in a row. <laughs> like mm -hmm. they probably need to flow together a little bit, things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I did, by the way, by the way, I did, uh, oh, where's that prototype at? Ah. Did you have a comment, Ruth? Yeah, I just want to add, like, graphic designers, you really have, like, the sites where they go to download, like, images that illustrate things like this. So most of the time, they do not, like, necessarily, like, a lot of content to understand, you know, these around. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you can check out on this site, Pizza Bay, Pizza Bay. Pizza Bay is a new site I normally use when designing websites. And they have a lot of images that are nice. You can check out the site. Okay, and back to, okay. Uh, so this this prototype, the prototype homepage is actually currently live, but I'm probably gonna unpublish it at some point. So I dropped the link in if you want to, if you want to see it yourself real quick. Uh, 
but I'm gonna, I'll just share it again, and then we'll take a peek at it. Uh, so the other thing this prototype kind of does is resolve some of the, there's, we've had some critique about the website that there was too much, the, the homepage was too noisy. Uh, so we've, uh, we've kind of moved into a one column, one column uh, structure as we go down and then in each of those columns we do break it out a little bit. Uh, I've only got, so other than this slider navigation, which is going to take us to this, the three, this, this top part is going to be our, our three main user paths. And then obviously we'll have regular, you know, navigation built up top that'll take us to other places. Uh, but the three main user paths follow this slider. And then as we go down, uh, so what is chaos? This will just be, this will be a history and info link. Uh, basically, whatever's in the, uh, we can, we build out the about page. Uh, but I think the, uh, uh, there are a couple documents that can be merged into the about page, which will actually remove some of our navigation currently. Uh, and then we drop down to the next row and we have a kind of a news and social, uh, Twitter was removed from this. However, I thought it made sense to keep three on here. Uh, one chaos cast, since we are getting good, uh, good results from chaos cast. And then obviously the newsletter, which is the kind of the most prolific thing we send out. And then the, the community health blog. That should be, this should be kind of simpler than, uh, simpler than what was there before. And also it kind of, it can kind of take center stage a little bit. Uh, and then we drop down to our supporting organizations. And then lastly, we drop into our footer and the footer has not been prototyped, uh, but the, the last, the last <laughs> section would be our footer. Uh, so the, the homepage becomes pretty simple. Right, it's one, two, three, four, four kind of content areas, and then you mm -hmm. also have your main navigation and your footer. And I'm wondering if that resolves some of the uh, the issues we've had in the past about uh, the structure being kind of uh, overly complicated or noisy. And Ruth has mm -hmm. her hand up. Yeah, this this really looks good, like compared to what we had before. Um, and some comments I have will one one is for the graphic uh, designer, but like the choice of colors, like with the I think the colors are contrasting. It's right the the second uh two sections, right? That would be one color, and also we could. So I know usually news and social comes like down the page right uh, maybe we want to move supporting organizations up um after what is chaos and then have news um, and socials down um after supporting organizations and also i think there should be some space i think there's some space to add the twitter because I, I think that's also important as well like on that chaos cast there should be some space to add twitter there uh, so I, I, uh, I agree that we have to, we have to have Twitter incorporated in some fashion. So the, the current way that we have Twitter on the website is actually it's embedded on the, the homepage so that you can actually, you can scroll through Twitter content. Uh, the request was to remove that. So we can still, we can still link out to Twitter in places. Uh, but we wouldn't use, but the, uh, actually, and in the original prototype, actually here in this news and social, I did have four columns and I actually had Twitter right over here. Uh, so it is something we could add, I suppose, if we wanted to. Uh, or we can link to it in other ways, right? So we can have, there are other pages where we can specifically call out our Twitter, uh, yeah. Twitter content. There are. Uh, you know, we can do, we can do Twitter badging 
in other places on the website as well. It's just that in this nose and social area, do we want a very explicit Twitter scroll? No, I don't think so. Yeah. And then, and then regarding the, uh, the design comments, uh, I agree. Yeah, none of this, none of the colors that I have chosen here are uh, probably uh, appropriate. And, and I'll go even further that even these titles, news and social, probably not great. Uh, yeah, this is we're fun. just yeah, we're just looking at the structure. Uh, and regarding moving, moving this news and social to the bottom and moving supporting organizations up. I like that. I think that would, uh, I think that could work. I think some of that will depend on uh, how many supporting organizations we have on the page. Yeah. Uh, if we if we have more than more than what we have here, it, uh, then it may make sense to keep supporting organizations on the bottom. If we're just talking about a couple, yeah, maybe, maybe we move it up and we have the, the news and social at the bottom. Yeah, we, we could also like reduce the white space because we're spacing. Yeah. I think looking at it on my monitor is like a lot. <laughs> Yeah, none of the yeah none of the formatting on this is is what uh, yeah the white the, the amount of white space that we see here isn't what would be accurate the yeah the colors aren't accurate this is it's just about structure and the type the type of data that we would have on the or the the, the type of content that we would have on the website uh, so think about the the columns and rows. Uh, and the the things that we need to have on the web on the front page. So is there is there something that we need to have on the front page that's missing? Uh, and would we would we prefer a different column and row layout than what's 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 happening here currently? I like the I like the column layout. I'm also thinking I think we have everything here for I could put it in the doc I think for any other thing. And Matt, this layout is based on the, the structure that you shared with me I in like, the past. I like so. the simplicity. I mean, yeah. already just looking at this, I'm like looking at the. It's far the, less plus clustered. Yeah, it's so cluttered, much less clustered. Cluttered. And Elizabeth has her hand up too on this. You're muted. Sorry. Since we don't regularly blog that much, I don't, I don't know that I agree with putting the blog on here. It kind of looks bad to me that we haven't blogged since January. Yeah. <laughs> so not an, I might not something say, to promote. Yeah. right, either we need to have somebody dedicated to that or else we um, maybe could put like upcoming meetings for the week or uh, recent badge recipients. Like, I don't know. I think something else that's like a little more pertinent to what, what the, our reality is <laughs> mm -hmm. right yeah. now anyway. So this header, we could change this header title title to something like community, and then that first one could be upcoming events or uh, something like that. I yeah, I, I wouldn't have any I, any problem pulling it out though. Yeah, I love the badge recipient mark put in the chat. Mm -hmm. Love, we we usually have a lot there. Uh, yeah, I like that idea too. It's something that we do that's very successful. We wouldn't necessarily have to put dates on there, um, but we could just list the, you know, to the recent ones, 10, whatever, whatever. Badging? Yeah. Okay. Does someone want to make a note of that in the uh, in the document? <clears throat> So, it, so that would be a badging announcements. Uh, yeah, recent recently awarded badges, something, something like that. Something like that, yeah. So, I mean, we, we could announce those through the blog. That would be easy to populate. Uh, and, and it would and it would I'm stay okay. current. I'm okay. We say, that a, <laughs> yeah. we say that a lot, and then nobody yeah. writes a blog post. Right. We're always I, like, we could put it in the blog, and then. Well, Let's live in our reality on this one. I agree with. Well, so the, the, the reality is that if we create this section, 
we have to have some way of uh, creating the content in that section and right. maintaining that content over time. So, so I would say if we build it, they will come is your argument. <laughs> well, my, my argument is if we just say, hey, let's announce those in the blog, <clears throat> it, yeah. it manages and maintains itself. Because okay. then All you right. don't have to, when you, when you announce a new, when you announce a new badge, you're going to have to go in and edit a markdown page or let me know that it's changed. Whereas if we just do a, if we just do a, like a congratulations in the blog to the, the project, with a link to the project, the, the blog, this little blog scroll would uh, update itself. So, and we could even have a, we could have a dedicated blog just to that, those badging announcements. So here's a quick question. <clears throat> if um, we posted them as blog posts, but that was literally just one line uh -huh. of like uh -huh. this person, is that what you're saying then? Yeah. To like have a separate like stuff? Okay. Yeah, we just, uh, so the title would be the project and then you have a one line and then it, you'd have a date uh and the this this title here would be called it'd be called uh badging of some sort uh and then the the name of blog post here would actually be called could be called event badging could be called project badging uh so yeah it's just a, it's just a way of populating the the stuff on the website so don't think of it as uh don't think of it as a traditional blog. It's just content management. I see. I see. I see. Um, yeah, we can we can definitely brainstorm around that. I think figure out an easier way to keep that updated. I just looked at the time. We're kind of over. Yeah, I want to get a little minute right. before the next meeting. So no, no. I'll catch you guys at the uh, next meeting in seven minutes. All right. Thank you. This was great, Kevin. Thank you so much. This yeah, is, sure. Yeah. You still here? Yep. Thank you, Kevin. Yep. Can you hold on a second? Oh, sorry. Okay. Yes, can you hold on a second? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I also and, want to. Sorry. I think oh, Elizabeth, 